Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. So we're in Naziat, or those who tear out. And you say, "Aoudou bilamina shaitan arajimi, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim." Number one. By the angels who tear out the souls of the wicked with violence. Wow. Okay, so angels with who contain violence or the action will, of them extracting the soul will be violent. Like, ugh. it's not going to be some gentle pulling out, essentially, right? By those who gently draw out the souls of the blessed. Ah, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. Yes, I get it. Okay, so the wicked, you're going to have your soul violently ripped out. Right? And then this is here. The good, it's like definitely pulling out. Oh, okay, good. That was on the right path. And by those who glide along on errands of mercy, then press forward as in a race, then arrange to do the commands of their Lord. One day, everything that can be in commotion will be in violent commotion. Followed by oft-repeated commotions. Hearts that day will be in agitation. Cast down will be their owner's eyes. They say now, What? Shall we indeed be returned to our former state? What? When we shall have become rotten bones. They say, It would, in that case, be a return with loss. But verily it will be but a single compelling cry. When, behold... They will be in full awakening to judgment. Has the story of Moses reached thee? Moses. Musa alayhi salam. Oh, I can't say it right. How do you guys say that? Behold, thy Lord did call to him in the sacred valley of Tuwa. Go thou to Pharaoh, for he has indeed transgressed all bounds. And say to him, Wouldest thou that thou shouldest be purified from sin, and that I guide thee to thy Lord, so that thou shouldest fear him? Then did Moses show him the great sign, but Pharaoh rejected it, and disobeyed guidance. Further he turned his back, striving hard against Allah. Then he collected his men and made a proclamation, saying, I am your Lord. Most high. But Allah did punish him and made an example of him in the hereafter as in this life. Verily, in this is an instructive warning for whosoever feareth Allah. What? Are ye the more difficult to create or the heaven above? Allah hath constructed it. That's a good point. On high hath he raised its canopy, and he hath given it order and perfection. Its night doth he endow with darkness, and its splendor doth he bring out with light. In the earth, moreover, hath he extended to a wide expanse. He draweth out therefrom its moisture and its pasture, and the mountains shall he firmly fix. For use and convenience to you and your cattle, therefore... When there comes the great overwhelming event, the day when man shall remember all that he strove for, and hellfire shall be placed in full view for all to see, then, for such as had transgressed all bounds, and had preferred the life of this world, the abode will be hellfire, and for such as had entertained the fear of standing before their lord tribunal, and had restrained their soul from lower desires. Their abode will be the garden. They will ask thee about the hour. When will be its appointed time? Wherein art thou concerned with the declaration thereof? Oh, don't... So basically, like, don't just be asking about the hour. Instead, focus on what was declared to you. That's what you need to be focused on, right? With thy Lord is a limit fixed, therefore... But thy Lord is limit fixed therefore, meaning like God knows that hey, you don't know, and anyone who tells you they know they don't know. Thou art but a warner for such as fear it. The day they see it, it will be. 
as if they had tarried but a single evening, or at most till the following morn. So I was telling you about the time. It's fast approaches. 27 is very cool. I like that one.